Do you freaking hear that? And somebody's hungry. He's rubbing his tummy and going, mm -hmm. Leon flavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. Where the fucking shit did you come out of? Uh, I thought he was like behind a door or something. Yeah, stay there. You guys have to try harder. You're just always standing there. It's funny to me whenever you get a headshot and they cover their eye, it's like they get just like mildly poked. Yeah, there's something uh, weird about these guys. I can't put my finger on it. They don't act like regular people. Okay. Oh. Shit's kind of it's getting kind of scary now. Yeah, they they're they're informing us that uh, shit's getting serious. I heard the music sting. There's spooky music. So I came out of green and she's up hizzy. Now, did you know in the beta instead of her screaming for Leon's help, she kept saying Ashley's in the hizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley's in the hizzy. I got the saves. Uh. I'm in the house. Gets the call from Hunnigan. Hunnigan, I got the saves. Uh. Why did we hire you? <laughs> Cause he's hip, he's down with it. He's got a nice haircut and he's buff and pretty. He says, word up, Ashley. <laughs> word up. She goes, get away from me. <laughs> I'm cool. Should this uh, game end with Leon says, and he tells you not to get in the dishwasher? I freaking love that idea. The washing machine, not the dishwasher. But it's different, that's Sonic. That's true. Sonic's already done it. Who go there? Which do you think is more painful? Ooh. I don't think people could necessarily fit themselves into a dishwasher. Let's chill, childs. You Childs. think so? There's barely any room. Then how could a person fit into a washing machine? Uh, because there's plenty of room. It's a big opening. It's a big hole. It's true. And it kind of looks like a Sonic loop, which is probably why Sonic had to talk about oh, it. Oh, kids were trying to run in it. Yeah, they were trying to run in circles inside of it, and Sonic had to tell them it doesn't work. If you think it's smart to climb in a dryer, you're really all wet. Okay, is that in my pocket? I have something in my front pocket for you. <laughs> Why don't you reach on it and grab it and see what it is? I remember that was the, uh, the You Got Served episode. Yeah, that was Butters. I love that episode. With his little tap dance. I remember that was one of the last seasons where it still felt like the show was pretty on point. I remember yeah. watching that episode when it was new and being really into it. They censored it later. <laughs> I remember the initial premiere. Uh, there were slight differences in really? terms of like audio. Oh. I think his hat said something different on it too. Oh, um, I was going to guess like you meant like, oh, we lost the copyright to the music. No, but I guess they, they just slightly altered it later. They're all parody anyway. They're all like... <gasps> Goofy. It's weird how that kind of thing can happen. Didn't like a Rick and Morty episode premiere and the colors were all wrong? Really? I don't know. I wouldn't have known. Sometimes it just happens. It's some kind of research equipment. I wonder what it's used for. The wrong production cut ends up out there. It's probably for research, <laughs> I would guess. Ashley? <laughs> what have they done to you? Is that me? That's me from a minute ago. What's going on? He's losing his mind. <laughs> Is everybody me? He's so sleep deprived. <laughs> he probably has. Yeah, how I mean, yeah. How, how long, long has, has he been, been here? on this island? It seems like days. I don't know, but we've only been playing a few hours. Uh, I don't know. Has this all happened over the course of a single night? Oh, of course. This looks fun. <laughs> I've never seen this OS before. Uh. Look, I'm good. See? See? Oh, it's a pipe. <laughs> Challenge. Leon like flashing colors. Whoa! You did it. The data is flowing through the correct pipes. Leon's smart. The hideous creatures known as the El Gigante and the No Svista doors are merely byproducts of the diabolical and inhumane experiments conducted on the specimens that were once human. But there's one type of creature that clearly distinguishes itself from the rest. I thought it said refrigerators. <laughs> These creatures are called regenerators. Regenerators have a superior metabolism that allows them to regenerate their lost body parts at an incredible speed. I've never seen anything like it. It is this characteristic that makes them almost invincible. But like any living creature, there's a way to kill it. Apparently there are plagas that live in its body, somewhat like leeches. They can't be seen with the naked eye. They can only be located through thermal imaging. Well, you know what to do. Get ready for this new enemy type, whoever's reading this note. <laughs> Oh, baby. Get oh, I love this. Thermal Aww. imager out. That's so fucking It's scary. like art. Yeah, they made a little museum exhibit just for you. Body works. 
What was it called? Where they they ripped apart all the human bodies yeah, and made them into art? That's body works. Okay, I was trying to remember where they're like preserved and you can see their mm-hmm. muscle tissues and such. And they make them do embarrassing things. <laughs> There's one sticking his finger up somebody's butt. Mm-hmm. How would you feel if that was your fate? Uh, would you donate yourself to science? At least I'm ripped apart enough that nobody knows who I am anymore. These guys are spooky. Yes, they are. They they tried to make them real creepy. I like the. The panting is good, the pale skin, the long arms, it makes it feel really inhuman. And I love their music. That's, uh, that's the way to design- <laughs> oh, the face is lame to me, but still, it's- it's still pretty creepy. Actually, I like the face. The, uh- The, the face is pretty goofy. It's the, to me, it's the sharp teeth. I was expecting it to have, like, like, really small facial features or something. I think when you see what the sharp teeth do, it's pretty cool. Well, let me guess, he opens his mouth too wide. Yeah, but it's freaky. <laughs> Cause like, he can bite you and they're sharp and stuff. <laughs> it makes enough sense, they're supposed it's to creepy. be- They're supposed to be weapons. Uh, but for me, I think because it gives it such a specific facial expression. The way he walks is also kind of goofy. Oh, <laughs> for me, a big, uh, <laughs> a big thing that makes a, a character design creepy, uh, um, you want to avoid oh! Jesus. Fuck. You want to avoid Jesus. You, you want to avoid um, a discernible, like emotional expression. I think that's a big thing that creeps people out. Is you want to feel like I don't know what this thing intends to do. He's got the face of like the robot from Baby's Kids or something. He's got yeah, he does. an evil grin with red eyes. Just wasting ammo. I thought that if I sp- right oh, fuck! <laughs> That's, That's the worst thing that I it could like have that. done. That's pretty good. I told you, they're the fucking coolest things ever. <laughs> but uh, in general, I, I think I'll relate it to that. A good way to make a character design that creeps me out is like something that looks like recognizably human, but it's enough off that you can be like, this is not right. I want more of that. This guy I want probably more creatures that just are unexpected. You don't know what they're going to do. This guy probably doesn't you think want you to be my them friend. And they do something like that that they flop at you. Oh my god. What happened? How intelligent do you think they are? I've been wondering that about all of these uh like the villagers you can kind of assume like okay, they're just like being subtly influenced to be more aggressive. You can take that sort of like 28 days later like okay, it's the it's an anger virus. It makes you really Really aggressive. Yeah, but this game, it's all about the parasites. As, as we go on... You should stop and quiz them to figure out how intelligent each one is. I'm sort of questioning, like, okay, like, to what extent are the creatures controlling the people? Uh... Oh, God. Oh, no. You would assume that, uh... These poor spiders. You would assume that in order to carry out all these orders, that to... Cause, like, the guy, um... Uh, what is his name, Lorenzo? The little, the little man. He gets Sal- in the... Salazar. <laughs> He gets in the elevator with one, and I'm like, mm, you'd think that he'd be, like, ripping him to shreds. How does he- how are they smart enough to be commanded? It's got, like, a creepy bug face. Because uh, he's not fresh. He's not like Leon. Let's do the one thing that will ruin his scariness and zoom right in on it. <laughs> I think that looks cool. He's got, like, a Goomba head from Mario. Yeah, <laughs> he I, does. I like that. <laughs> oh, that Did was the so Goombas you... scare you in the Mario movie? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> I would. I'm sure they scare kids. I, I don't think it's so much how they look. It's probably the transformation no, aspect. No, I think the idea of that. Yeah, people were freaked out by that. We're getting turned into a monkey. You yeah, know that scared the shit out of me. Would you be upset to be turned into a monkey? Like, did uh, did the kids getting turned into monkeys in uh, We're Back scare you, Chris? A little bit. I was more scared of Jumanji because he looks so horrifying. Uh oh. Oh no. Door's been locked. What that could now? That mean? Oh no. Hmm. I is wonder. It, is a thing going to. Oh. I love how they get up. Yeah, they are. They're still designed really cool. No, I still like I a have lot a gripe with the face, but that's literally the worst thing about them, and it's still I not that bad. I get where you're bad. coming from. Maybe it's just nostalgia goggles. It's not that big of a deal. It's just a thing that throws it off a bit, I guess, just because it's a goofy face. My thing is, if you have an evil character who has a very deliberately I'm evil face, yeah, I, it throws me out of it. That's I think exactly. Like, like, Pennywise. Yeah, the new Pennywise. Uh, evil clowns. They, they gave him like a, a weevil Underwood face that he's always making an evil grin, and it's like, okay, I get it. You're evil, evil clowns piss me off because a big, a big creepy smile. It's like, yeah, I, I know, I get it. You're evil. 
I Ooh. think it's. I think a, a clown killing you is scarier if it's just a normal person face. Honest. Oh. No. Wow! <laughs> look at that. He should start running up to you. Yeah, the you. legs should start running after you like faster. I honestly love the new it. I, I still haven't seen, seen it. it. I'm a huge fan of it. Oh, well, I, li I like the first one. I think the second one sucks eggs. I think everybody feels that way. That's the only thing I've heard. It's really sad because the first one I really freaking liked. It felt like an old 90s movie with like how it was paced. And, I like, mean, I remember people saying the same thing about the original miniseries that the idea of like, okay, once they're adults, you can stop watching. Yeah. Tim Curry's entertaining the whole way through, though. He sure is. I honestly like the new Pennywise. He's entertaining, too. I would like to see. I want to see what they do with him. I've only seen like a few clips here and there. It's 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 more like everything I've seen has put me off from it, but I haven't seen. If it If they yet. can do it subtly, if you if because uh, it looks like I they're adding the in where, jump scare moments yeah, where he's running. That's what I was gonna say. Fast. It's like yeah. you're not gonna make that work. <laughs> it's a clown. Yeah, I actually think it does somehow work because he is really scary. Now, Here. Chris. Yeah. Uh, how easily would you say you get scared? Uh, by movies, not at all. I assume games do a lot because then it's like you feel the peril. Yeah. I remember how you were reacting with Resident Evil. Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah, I remember you got really spooked by Resident Evil 7. Yes. That shit's scary. Fuck, there's another one. Come here, you. Uh, what are horror movies that scared you to death? Are there, yeah, are there any? That scared me genuinely? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Let me think. The, the first time I watched Evil Dead 2, it really freaked me out. I dearly it, it's love- It's supposed to be funny, though. I dearly love that laughing scene. Me too, it's the best part. Uh... Let me think. Let me think, let me think these. Ooh. A little thing. Ding dong? Uh-huh. Would you be frustrated with me if, uh... If I asked you to move in with me and my- everything in my house was constantly laughing? 24-7? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Okay. So I'll, uh... But I'll... I know that's, like, your intent, isn't it? You want to annoy? No, I just oh. like it. I think it would be fun. I like Drag Me to Hell quite a lot. Have you seen that? I've never seen that one. That's a... Well, are you talking about... I feel like there's an original and a remake, right? Or is there only one version? Not actually sure. Uh, I think it's original. I don't think there is two versions of it. It's I, a Sam Raimi I think, movie. Yeah, I think oh, I've seen that. Oh, then probably not, yeah. That's, uh, with the old lady that is attacking her in her car yes, or whatever, right? Yes, so good. Oh, I love this song. When did it come out? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh no! Because that was like somewhat recent. <laughs> What's <laughs> even down there? It's the garbage chute. For all you know, it's just a ball pit. I like that they're hiding instead of leaving. <laughs> As this slow robotic arm moves around the room. I just like they put shit in like this just to yeah, mix it yeah, up. Yeah, it's but... fun. I I'm, agree. I'm glad they set this up for Leon. They should be- I think they should be running around and panicking to make it more, like, exciting to do. there should be carnival music playing right now. Maybe have flashing uh, lights when you get one in. They shut it down. Oh. You're having too much fun. Oh, so you only have, like, a limited number of tries to, like, make the room easier. Jesus! <laughs> Wait! What was he gasping about? He was the one trying to scare you. Oh, oh. see that? Oh, this game. Never a dull moment. Look look down there. It's a waste dump. Maybe it leads to the waste dump. <laughs> or maybe it's a dump waste. Maybe I'll dump waste to myself. <laughs> Would you take the chance to pee in it, Chris? Yeah, I mean... It's he a waste dump. He hasn't peed this whole time. I like peeing in strange places. Maybe he's peed off camera. It's fun. Every time he uses the typewriter. <laughs> maybe you're right. Or Give when he's yet. buying items. Give me the yellow herb. Oh, push the big glowing button. It's oh. security switch for the door on the left. Okay. So you should press it, Leon. <laughs> this is the most cool, like, stealthy, badass music I've ever heard. Is that Ashley? Ashley, I hear you. I'm coming for you, baby. He's shouting into the bullet box. <laughs> you should start banging on things, too, going, Ashley, help! Fucking, that scene of the, the two guys in big armor, that really reminded me of, like, Sega Genesis Golden Axe for some reason. <laughs> it just looks so stupid. And that's that what they sound like. <laughs> he hit his head on the floor. <laughs> this poor fucking guy. <laughs> he clonked himself out with a pipe. 
sorry I did that. Calm the heck down. I'm telling you, Resident Evil developers, next game. There needs to be slip and slides, there needs to be banana peels. That's a slip and slide. Oh, fucking Christ! You did slip, and you did slide. There, let's use this new shiny ib. Stay. Stay. When, when Stay. people when people argue about whether you pronounce Jeez. Oh. Whether you pronounce it herb or herb. Mm. I've never heard anybody argue that for the name. Which leads me to believe that herb is probably correct. I don't know, maybe there's someone out there who says, excuse me, it's Herbert, not That's, Herbert. The full name is Herbule. Herbulon. <laughs> I need a key card. Yeah, you can stop. You gonna stop screaming now? Shooter. <laughs> Do you think it'll even work? <laughs> I don't wanna risk it. <laughs> They've done it before! <laughs> I go in here? She didn't duck. When she was shackled to the wall, I wouldn't have guessed that they would actually make a hurt box there, and they did. I'm glad she I, shut up. I imagine it because the idea is also you might accidentally shoot her. Because you had to break the things off of her. But remember, they let her free before that sequence started. No, so you, why had to not break, you had to break the three things she was Oh, I guess that's by. true. That's a good point. That's why she could probably get hurt in case you missed. Okay, buddy. Did you see that sidestep? I sure did. What skill? Don't hit me. He listened. Can I see what it looks like when he gets electrocuted just once? He goes, ah, 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 Yeah, I want him to go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Hey! I was trying to run away. I want to get this guy. I don't like getting shot with fire arrows. It's very disruptive, isn't it? turns it? into a cartoon skeleton. He does. Like Home Alone 2. <laughs> you have to admit, if Leon was doing Ow. that, it would be pretty entertaining. He has to <laughs> scream the same way, too. Do you think that's where Doug Walker learned to scream? Maybe. Because it's very it is similar. very similar. That's what he does. Maybe he got shocked and turned into a skeleton, then he realized it was really funny, so he kept doing it. Every time he has oh. to do a take, he electrocutes himself. He's oh. from, uh, he's from Fuck. Chicago. That was, you know, where Home Alone was. They were filming around, uh, Illinois. Did you really get to meet that bird lady when you lived there? That was in New York. Oh, I guess you're right. Julian, you goobenstein. No, it's the it's the guy with the toothbrush. I remember. That's in Chicago? Uh, the first one was in Chicago, wasn't it? And then the sequel takes place in New York. The lesson is, don't live in Chicago. And Catherine O'Hara will forget you. And then the third one is, they found a new child. They did. And then the fourth one was, they found an even newer child. But still called him Kevin. Was there a fifth one? I'm pretty sure there is. And if so, was it a new child again? Isn't that the one we watch where it's Christmas and he's in his house? In the rich pre people house? Isn't like where everything's robotic? Oh. I think that, yeah. I thought that was the third one. Are you- mm. No, the third one is it's not Kevin and he's he's being attacked by spies for and no I remember reason. It, that's the one where it's very snowy outside yeah. and he has the long hair, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm glad I remember these films. They're very important. I'm surprised any of us have seen them. Uh oh, it's a new guy. I don't know why. I He's cool. I don't know why I saw the third one. I, like I feel him. like it was like a hotel movie when I was a kid or something. These are called Iron Maiden. Oh, he's so cool. Thanks, Stray. You think he would be my friend? Band. I like the way his mouth is jittery. Oh god. Come on, baby. What there does he go. do when he gets close to you? Is it just as simple as he pierces you with his oh no. sp spikes? There's something crazy. He's got a gem rolled on him. Please leave me alone. Please? 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 I like him. He's got a better face. No. That's how I feel when I've had too much coffee. And I like that he's shaking around. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh shit! Oh. At least it didn't yeah, hurt Yeah, he much. doesn't even swing at you. He just has needles. <laughs> he could bring you in and do that. I'm just gonna take out this. He can give bring him, you into his home. Give him a big hug. What the hell did he just do? Don't turn around. There's oh, one on there's his one back. on his back. How are you supposed to get that? Oh my god. What do you think he thinks about? Pain. <laughs> Constant pain. That seems about right. <laughs> oh, there's a, a thingy thing. Shoot it. Well, okay. right in front of it. Okay. Don't, uh, don't corner yourself now. Come here, you. Remember, it's on his back. God, that's scary. Come on. Is that actually gonna do something? It better. I don't think it is. Shh. Oh, hey! it did! Cool! Hey! Uh, good call, Chris. I mean, it's pretty, pretty obvious. 
the storage room keycard? Why did he have that? He's an executive. This place is gonna go kablooey eventually. That's a shame, isn't it? It was kind of designed to go kablooey. <laughs> they wanted a big boom. Yeah, they put depth. They put depth. They put Ooh. charges everywhere. It's like wired into the walls. Am so I supposed to go this way? When the climactic ending happens. Like how everybody always wants to see C Lab explode. <laughs> this place is set up to go kaboom. What are you here Welcome. for? Hello. That's me again. Ding dong, guess what? What? It's 2021. It is. It's 2021. Oh, and the we C still Lab. Don't have a C Lab. The C Lab is out there. Thank you. We gotta go find it. How many people have been rewatching C Lab now that it's 2021? We Not gotta, this guy. We gotta go save White Stormy. It's kind of weird how that was a very early Adult Swim show and everyone kind of forgot about it when it stopped airing. Because it was kind it. of not. Yeah, it was really hit or miss, and it missed more often than it hit. It wasn't that great. Sea Lab? Yeah. Yeah, I've tried a few times and I never really enjoyed it that There's much. a handful of episodes that are entertaining, but it's kind of a mixed bag. I saw the Bizarro one and it made me laugh. Yeah, that one's, I think that's the most popular episode. <laughs> Bizarro! There isn't even a premise, they're just all tied up and nothing happens. <laughs> and that's... <it's> perfect. <laughs> nice. Okay. I do miss that. I liked when Adult Swim just had all of these different Hanna-Barbera properties. Boy. Yeah, me too. It's very strange to me that they're bringing back G Bird Girl with no Hanna-Barbera characters yeah, in it. Yeah, and like, they're it's just like, making it into like an archer now. What's the point? Ooh, so both of these are Magnums. One's a Killer 7. That's a different game. Yeah. Oh, I don't know which one to get. Is that actually a reference? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it was actually published by Capcom. Okay, I think I'm gonna get this one. Not enough cash. Fuck! It's a reference to Flanders Killer 7. What I'm still very selling? disappointed that Flanders Killer 7 was not a Killer 7 what parody. Would, I mean, what would Simpsons themed Killer 7 have been? <laughs> uh, deep political commentary with Simpsons characters delivering it. You have to kill Matt Greening by the end. That was bad. We're good. Timing. We're good. Looks like it to me. Yep, it's recording. Okay. I would have been sad if we lost that. We had some funny jokes. Some bangers. Bangers! <laughs> <laughs> That's all that stream was with Chuck E. Cheese. Bangers! He was, he was just reading through every, uh... Every word meme. that you could say. <laughs> I take it back. I think the new Chuck E. Cheese is way funnier than the 80s one. You're just saying that because of the puppet. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Because he went from being like a weird, creepy animatronic to a tiny puppet who's nervous about everything. Yeah, yeah he's way more of a character with that. <laughs> he wants to be cool and hip with the kids, but he's also terrified of them. 